Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more Siphon Filter. When we last left off, we discovered the Mole, Benson, and dealt with him, more or less. And of course, we uh, put our friend, our old friend, Antmov, behind bars. Kind of. Hopefully she's getting the uh, treatment she deserves for her face and missing hand. But anyway, on to Roma's base, incoming from Markison. I know that this type of military operation is usually carried out by our agents within the army rangers, but for obvious reasons, I am assigning it to you. Find and inventory the base's missile arsenal. Plant C4 charges at key locations and eliminate Garbrek, the base CO. You'll also have to disable the base's anti-aircraft radar dish before Leon can initiate evac. Once your explosives are set, you will only have a limited amount of time of... Uh, before pickup or for pickup I should say well sounds like another sneaky sneak mission and indeed it is but this one is significantly longer and they've seriously dialed up the difficulty but we've got some more toys to play with so that should even the odds anyway let's go I've discovered why every mission in this investigation has been compromised the agency had a leak at the top. Benton, of course. You knew? You were valuable to me, Logan, but you are not briefed on all of the agency's activities. I've known for some time that Benton was playing both sides. How many missions did you send us on knowing that Benton could have gotten us killed? We do what it takes, Logan. Now she'll be more all of us. Get her off the floor. What else did you find out? We downloaded several data files from Fagan's computers. It'll take a while before intelligence can crack Farcon's encryption codes, but Fagan must have a lab somewhere that's manufacturing this virus. Fagan has disappeared. Interpol hasn't been able to turn up a trace of him yet, and there's still no sign of Romer. Romer is operating out of an old Soviet base in northern Kazakhstan. Our spy satellites have pinpointed the exact location of his compound. The State Department must be able to tell the Kazakhstan government that the United States had nothing to do with the operation. Your chopper will put you down one mile outside the base, just beyond the range of their long-range radar. Hopefully the blizzard will mask your approach. You will have to infiltrate on foot and disable their short-range anti-aircraft guidance radar before evac. Those look like long-range SS-23s. Yes, they're the reason I'm sending you. Before you set the timer, you need to find their missile stockpiles and retrieve the launch codes. We want to find out where he is getting them. You will be carrying several C4 charges, which you will plant on these fuel tanks. That should be enough explosive to take out whatever arms he is stockpiling. This is Vladislav Gabrik, Romer's base commander. He is personally in charge of security. Contingency plan? If you fail, we'll have another chopper standing by two clicks south. If I find Romer... Eliminate him. Eliminate him. You got it, boss. I'm on my way in. All right, let's get this show on the road now. Radio traffic shows a yellow alert status. Be careful to avoid their patrols. If the base goes on alert, you won't have much time to complete your objectives. Check. I am going to start sprinkling some uh, save states about just because this is where the game stops being a nice, uh, pleasant, easy romp. <laughs> this game. It, the difficulty in this game is interesting. It's like the first level, it's almost impossible to fail. After the first level, and especially when you get to around this sort of... Uh, what are you doing, Gabe? As soon as you get to this sort of stage, things get dramatically harder. But that's okay. We're okay. We've done this before. Anyway, new toy I was talking about, the gas grenade. Gas grenade is immensely useful when being a sneaky sneak because if we go and have a little read of the description the damage is max so primarily used as a stealth weapon against multiple targets this grenade releases trace amounts of a uh, solmon nerve agent into the air the gas quickly dissipates but not before rendering victims unconscious if no antidote is administered death follows within 15 minutes excellent sounds like a very useful addition to our toolbox right so we're gonna lock onto these guys and say good night 
uh, if you would be so kind. Gabe? <coughs> Excellent weapons test. Excellent. Beautiful, even. Now, we don't really want to walk into it ourselves. I'm not sure if that's even the thing. Probably is. So, must be careful. So, we have our silence handgun here. Basically, what we're going to be leaning on pretty heavily, but, you know. Gabe is, does like his uh, silence handgun. I don't think we have anything else yet. Can we? No. Yes. No. Okay, so there is actually a maximum range to this weapon. And it ain't quite as impressive as I thought, but that's okay. That is okay. Now, let's creep around. And be extra careful. Wait for this body bag to move past. And we're going to send him packing. There we go. You're not going to go home to mummy and daddy later, I are you? Fuel tank. Yeah, we got ourselves a fuel tank. But before we hit ourselves up the first checkpoint in the game... We're going to take you out. And we're going to wait for another sap to walk past, if we can. Come on, sir. Oh, hello. Gabe, intelligence briefings show the bunkers are guarded by motion sensors. You'll have to cut their power to get in. Where's the substation? A half click southeast from your present position. Check your sat map. All right, we can handle that. Ain't no problemo. Good thing they don't react to bodies and such, isn't it? Let's walk past and see their mate dead on the floor. Tis nothing, comrade. There we go. Alright. I suppose let's do that. I've planted the first explosive. Grab ourselves a checkpoint. Now on the checkpoints, I'm gonna be safe stating. Okay. Evening, sir. Good night, sir. Now we can be a little bit sneaky and save ourselves some time later on if we kill him through the gate. Not bad, Logan. But we must be ready for his friend who turns up. Man, he ruined a couple of parties, to be honest. But party ruining is no longer... Man. The gate to the bunker is locked in down. his future. Intelligence reports that only Gobrick has a key into the missile bunkers. His patrols could take him anywhere. I'll try. God damn it. I don't know why that skipped off there. But, all right. So Garbrook has the key that we need. All right. Good to know, I guess. Let's keep sneaking. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Well, I mean, we don't have to be super sneaky. Just sneaky enough. Not sure how that hit, but yeah, the hit detection is kind of wonky on this game. I don't know, it's it's not bad, but sometimes like if you shoot an enemy, it you'll think you've missed, but about a couple of frames later they will actually die. It's not a big deal. They're still dead, it just takes them a while to realise. Ooh. Evening, Squire. Evening. Good night. Right, okay. So, there's another guard in here. Good thing you've done your reconnaissance, Gabe. I must admit, you're not doing bad, son. Not doing bad at all. Alright, let's go shut down these uh, this power system. These motion sensors. Good thing they've got this big old switch here. There we go. Lovely. I found the power to the motion sensors. I'm heading over to the bunkers now. Also, it's a good thing nobody realizes that we've uh, flicked them off as well. Because otherwise, that would have been really bloody embarrassing. Nice. Hit the old C4. Like so. And get the hell out of here. Now, this is where things can get slightly more interesting. I didn't save state, did I? Better save state. Every time the game checkpoints, I'm hitting a save state. Just that way, it 
It's a lot quicker to reload the save state than it is to wait for the game over, blah, 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 restart, blah, 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 blah. blah. All right. Okay. Get our sneak on. Now, actually, if we're quick, we can be a sneaky little git here. If we're quick, that is. Yep. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> we were not quick enough. <laughs> That's why we save state. All right. So that didn't exactly go to plan. However, that's fine. That's fine. You have to expect these things. This is why we have checkpoints. So I do have another strategy that I think should work pretty well. This is actually the strategy that I used first time through. So let's switch up to our rifle a second. Wait for these two guys to go through. And then we're going to ping this guy. Blast his brains out. There we go. Yep, they haven't noticed. Cool. Alright, fine. And then what we're going to do is grab this night vision rifle. Very nice. And these gas grenades. Now, we're not going to use the gas grenades, but the night vision rifle is probably kind of just what we want. Now, we are going to sneak back. Now, what I want is to wait for him to get out of range kill him and then we are going to run back how did that go Gabe I went pretty well actually pretty well indeed cool now this guy shouldn't actually turn around now come on special agent Gabe not bad this rifle actually is really freaking good like seriously aha a couple of more guards patrolling up here no matter just end that one. Oh, that was lucky that was about as lucky as it gets okay switch back up to the pistol yeah that rifle man holy free holy she is a bit of a beast Okay, yeah, all right, yeah. There we go, Gabe. Now let us have a little look around, see if we can, oh, hello, sir. I see you. Good night. Now that window was just literally set up so we can put a hole in that dude's head. Like literally that's the only reason it's there because all the other windows you can't shoot through or do anything or all of the other doors with those windows in the frames I should say so it's kind of interesting that they just uh, drop that there hello sir let us detach your cranium from your body as well I hope you're not too offended by such things not bad Gabe now let us go grab that checkpoint. Two more explosives to plant. All right. Let's go see what we can do. Keep those peepers open. You never know. We have... Ah, I remember this bit. All right, let's not get too cozy now. We actually need... Gaben, reach into your back pocket if you wouldn't mind and grab yourself a nice gas grenade. Because you can see these two suckers up here. Yeah, them. These guys actually caught me and for the longest time, I wasn't quite sure how to deal with them. <coughs> then I discovered the gas grenades. Yes. I kind of, the gas grenades didn't really register from what I can remember the first time I grabbed them. Which obviously was a mistake, because you can see just how overpowered they can be. Not always are, but they can be. Alright, what are we looking at through here? I think we're good. Cool. So, let's go put down the last bomb. Actually, it's not the last bomb, is it? We've got one left after this one. So, plunk. Not bad, Gaben. Not bad. 
One more to plant. We're doing this, man. We're doing this. Okay. Mummy said we'd never amount to anything. Honestly. What does she know? Now, this one is a little bit spicy. And by little bit spicy, I mean this is incredibly spicy. You want to hold down the actual target lock button. And wait for all of them to walk around the corner. Because this is the uh, Garbrook guy. But he's got three men with him. This is very difficult <coughs> to get off. <laughs> but that is like the best method for taking all of them out. Without actually sounding the alarm. <sighs> okay, now we can have a breather. Not bad, Gabe. Not bad. That went significantly better than when we were testing the game, didn't it, Gabe? Remember all the things that went wrong, Gabe, when we did that? Yes, I remember all the things that went wrong. That's the last explosive. I'll trigger the timer once I'm on the roof and have disabled their radar. Copy. Excellent. Yeah, so uh, I, I did try all sorts of different methods, but man, I just could not trigger that without actually... You can see that little sly pepper in there. There you go, friend. Yeah, I tried rushing him with the shotgun. I tried rushing him with the assault rifle. I tried all sorts, sneaking around, trying to pop him off from a distance. Always set the alarm off. But gas grenade? Who would have thunk it? All right, so bullets are maxed. So we're clear. Keep pushing up. Boop. Not bad. Now, what are we looking at? We remember where we are, don't we? More or less. That should lead. I think that leads to the power plant if my brain serves me correctly. Yep, that's the power plant. Cool. So we know where we are. Now, we're going to be back here a little bit later on in the game, but uh, we're not going to worry about that just yet. Let's get these buns of steel moving. How are you feeling, Gabe? Getting pretty cold out here? Now we've got uh, Garbrook's card. We can actually slip it into this old uh, doobry here. And get moving. Now, because we've already killed that bloke and his friend here, we don't have too much to worry about memory serves we do have a watchtower there or a searchlight I should say apart from that we're good I think we've only got one yeah this is the bunker complex we've only got one dude left to kill I think Oof, that was a bit of a rough landing but it's fine it's all good it's all gravy now, there's some dick that's going to come out of here. We're going to pop him in the skull. Like that, see? Oh, wait, actually, there is a few more left over. Yeah. I thought that was the end of the level when you walked down there, but of course, that would be too easy, wouldn't it, Gaben? That's no good. We want a challenge. What's that? Challenge, you say? Don't worry, Gaben. You'll have your challenge. I can promise you that. Because before long, we shall have to swat a bothersome fly. And my god! <laughs> yeah, right. Well. Damn it. Oh, son of a bitch. Honestly? Ah, oh, you absolute turdberg. All right. Let's try that again, shall we? I think the best thing to do would probably be use a good old tried and tested grenade. You can, to be honest, you can quite easily just like shoot both of those guys in the head. As long as you go for a bit of a rapid fire kind of dealio, but we could just do that and use one of Gaben's patented gas grenades. And uh, yeah, you can't argue with the results. You cannot argue with those results. Anywho, not bad. Let's get out of here. 
and go deeper into the bunker. Whoop. And with that, another mission is done. We'll give a save and drop one there, yes. And now we can infiltrate the actual bunker. This is where things get a little bit more spicy. Incoming from Leon. Uh, so the Kazakhstan base bunker. Gabe, all the explosive charges you set are primed and ready for detonation. All you have to do now is catalog the SS-23s and get to the roof. As you check each one, I'll be transmitting the firing codes to HQ, so keep your channel open. Entering the bunker triggers a silent alarm. The base is on alert now, so you're not going to be able to get back to the surface the way you came. Satellite photos indicate that there is a freight elevator on the roof, and it's likely connected to the bunker. That's your exit strategy. Yeah, Alright. I'm in the bunker. I'll catalog the missiles and then head for the elevator to the roof. Get ready for data transmission. Let's do this. Okay, so this one is kind of chaotic. Now we're not going to use our assault rifle because we're going to need that in the next bit. So we've got these laser trip wires everywhere. And of course, soldiers everywhere. Oh my. But these laser trip wires aren't quite as iffy as they first seem. In fact, to be fair, this is... Kind of a short little mission, but it's certainly a little bit on the tricky side. So, let's get to work cataloging these missiles. There's eight of them, I think. No, there's ten. Oh, hello. I've got the first firing code. As soon as I get the rest, I'll be heading up to the radar tower on the roof. Stand by. I'm intercepting more radio traffic. They're starting to patrol the perimeter. If they spot me, I'll have to dust off. Copy. Alright, no problemo. Let's get these uh, missiles disarmed. Yes, it's quite a short mission, but it can go pear-shaped really quickly. Oof! Blew his ass away. Not bad, not bad. Now these switches... Actually, can we push these switches? We actually can push the switches. Alright, I thought we just had to blow them up but nope yeah we want to save the PK for the next bit as much as we possibly can there is some armor there right at the beginning that's cool we we'll remember that ah don't want to go that way pesky laser gates more pesky laser gates well that's no problemo of course it would have to blow the laser gate at the other side oh Gaben Oh, Gaben, oh, Gaben. Oh, I suppose we could have gone whichever way we wished. Right, okay. Let's be a little bit delicate here. There we go. Anger the locals. Evening. Evening, squires. Anybody else got something to say? Oh, yes, there's always one. Oof, God, that was sketch. Oh, hi. Ow. Pain. Yeah, remember that, like, black jacket that I briefly mentioned? Let's go back and get that. Probably a good idea. Luckily, we didn't actually take any health damage there. Because flak jackets, as I've said previously, do not replenish our health. Which is bad. Because we need our health. Alright, now, what are we looking at? Are we clear? Where was that guy? There he is. Have some of that, you bastard. Yeah, I didn't think you'd enjoy that. I enjoyed it. Does that make me a bad person? Uh oh, if so, excellent. I don't mind being a bad person when terrorists are involved. Oh, hello. Caught him napping. Okay, don't mind catching these grunts napping, I can tell you. Definitely using slugs in this. Either that or this has the best video game shotgun to date. I am a fan. I like a good shotgun. and It just doesn't have that spread that you'd expect. 
a silly video game, like cartoony shotgun to have. And uh, I actually really like that. It's basically a pump action rifle. Good night, sir. Do you have any shells for me? Yes, you do. All right, well, it looks like we found some more missiles, Gabe. Let's get these guys out of their tubes and have a little look around. Uh-huh. There's one. There's two. I like the way they kind of jitter as they come out of their launch tubes. Gabe's just like, hmm, nice missiles. Mind if I take a look? We shall look, Gabe. Look all you like. Don't touch. Don't want to be touching these things. God knows what's in them. Right, four missiles remaining. All right, should be good. Now carefully does it. You gotta watch these corners because these terrorists do like to sneak up on you. I guess that's what terrorists do. Oh, hi, see? You see, he was being sneaky. Everybody saw that. Sneaky terrorist. Alright, we'll clear that way. Nobody likes a sneaky terrorist. This room's clear. Lovely. Ooh, we've got a... Oh, God. A nice quad of missiles in here. Which is convenient. You bloody sneaky terrorist bastards, honestly. Honestly. Oh, sent him packing. I'm sure we're going to cremate all of these guys anyway. Two missiles remaining. Oop. There we go. One missile remaining. Oop. I've got the last code. I'm going to try to find a way up to the radar tower on the roof. Get ready to lift off. I'm ready. You ready? Good. You're ready. I'm ready. We're all ready. Alright, there's always more, isn't there? You think you've killed every cockroach terrorist there is, and then more come out of hiding. That's how they work, you know. Alright, we're good. Now, where are we going? I don't think we're going that way. Maybe we are going that way. Who's to know? Who's to know? Ah, nope, we must be going this way. Let me guess. Yep. God damn it. Those lasers, by the way, are a one-hit kill. I don't know how. I don't know why. But ours is not to question why. Ours is to do the deed. Make the terrorist die. And that rhymes. So it must be true. Uh, Alright, let's go for the assault rifle. We just want something with a little automatic kick to it. You and you. <laughs> Fools. Lord into a trap. As easy as that. Now, let's pop this armory open and have a little look at the delicious goodies within. Terrorists? That's not what we wanted. Who would have thought there'd be terrorists in a terrorist armory, huh? Well, no matter. And if you're curious, all of these guys indeed have flak jackets on. I think there's three of them in there. There is. Evening. Ivan. I have some of that. Is Ivan a popular name in Kazakhstan? I don't know. Anywho, there's some uh, really nice collectibles in here. We have gas grenades. Lovely. What else have we got? Grenades. Standard. We'll have those. Ammo for this weapon, which I guess we'll take. Night vision rifle. Sure. 9mm ammo. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure have some nine millimeter what else we got more grenades all right okay 
And last but not least, the standard vanilla sniper rifle. Don't mind if I do. Cool, let's go. Right now, Gabe, we're loaded down pretty heavily. Let's get the hell out of here. Elevator cool switch. Uh, I think the elevator is already here, man. Leon, I found the elevator to the roof. Get ready to dust off. Gabe, the force is crawling with patrols. Now, I think we're going to call it there for this video. Just because this boss that we have to fight next is an almighty giant fat juicy penis and it's really lame <laughs> and last time uh, during testing it took me nearly an hour to beat it um yeah this 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 boss is uh irritating but it's not the boss itself that's the problem it's the controls um, but we shall cover that in the next video so anyway guys thank you very much for watching and as always till next time